Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. On day two of our 29 day Florida adventure, we drove north to Titusville where we plan to paddle south of the causeway to Hobo Island and watch the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launch live from the tiny island. Then paddle north of the causeway to Horseshoe Crab and Dolphin Tail Islands to finish out the day. We arrived at Parrish Park in Titusville just before 10 a.m. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket was scheduled to launch at 11.17 a.m. After unloading the kayaks, we promptly began paddling west toward the causeway. Then once we reached the causeway, we paddled south toward Hobo Island, a small spoiler island which we have visited many times. We had about an hour to get to the tiny island, which was only a mile away, so we had plenty of time. We could have parked on the south side of the causeway, which would have shortened the paddle distance, but with many onlookers already set up for the view, we thought parking and launching our kayaks on north side would be much easier. The Falcon 9 rocket was to launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center Launch Complex 39A, which was 11 miles from Hobo Island. While it is possible to watch the launch from closer areas, such as the Canaveral National Seashore or Mosquito Lagoon, we felt that this particular location would be a unique choice. The SpaceX rocket would deliver supplies, equipment, and materials to the space station. This would be the first launch for SpaceX under NASA's second commercial resupply services contract. This rocket was scheduled to launch the previous day, however bad weather postponed that launch. Today looked much more promising for a successful launch. When we first discovered Hobo Island, there was an island hopper camping on the island. Several months later, we visited the island again, and that same island hopper was there. Miss Kayak 7 Seas and I jokingly started calling the island Hobo Island. When I noticed the two islands north of the causeway had been given names on Google Maps, I decided to see if I couldn't give this island a name. Surprisingly, Google Maps accepted the name, and soon, reviews and photos were added by people visiting the island. Unfortunately, over the past couple years, storms have taken their toll on the island and has been reduced in size. I do wonder how much longer this island will be around. I always enjoy visiting this island because we have great luck finding abandoned conch shells. This was an exciting day because I always wanted to watch a rocket launch from this island. As big as my feet. Because the shell was still occupied, we left it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift off of the Falcon 9 and upgraded Cargo Dragon, the first cargo capsule to dock to the International Space Station. Stage 1 propulsion is now.
After witnessing the rocket launch, the dolphin came out and also put on a show for us. This was turning out to be an awesome day. After watching the dolphin swim around the island, it was time for us to circle the island and head north to Horseshoe Crab Island. Paddling from Hobo Island to Horseshoe Crab Island is a little over a mile. Whenever we launch from Parish Park, we like to visit all three islands. Horseshoe Crab Island is by far the biggest of the three islands. Since it is a larger island, it does attract more people, and unfortunately, with the extra people, comes trash that gets left behind. It is a nice place to relax. There are people who do camp the island from time to time, however I've heard from the campers that the island does have rats that comes out after dark and will chew their gear looking for food. After reaching Horseshoe Crab Island, we took in the sights. I have to say, there is something about viewing the causeway from this angle that is purely awesome. While on the island, we ran into a guy who was on an adventure of his own. He was kayaking south along the intercoastal waters to Key West, a magnificent feat. I wish him well on his journey. He's taken plenty of video and pictures and updating his adventure on his Instagram. If you're curious about his journey, check out his Instagram at jleewild81. Tell him Kayak 7 c sent you. Unfortunately, I was so interested in his story, I forgot to capture any of it for this video. After our time on Horseshoe Crab Island, we paddled another thousand yards north to the last island on this adventure, Dolphin Tail Island. While Hobo Island has been hit hard by some of the storms of the past few years, Dolphin Tail Island has been hit even harder. The island is shrinking fast. There used to be a small stage that has been washed away, and many of the trees have been lost to either the storms or by campers who cut them down for their wood to be used in their campfires. The lack of vegetation is destroying this secluded peaceful place. While we were there, another group of kayakers paddled over to this island for a nice peaceful lunch. 
After our break and some shell hunting, we decided it was time to head back to the mainland. It had been a full day of paddling and we had a great day watching the dolphin play, a SpaceX launch, and meeting some new and interesting people. you have enjoyed the second day of our Florida adventure. If so, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, consider joining Team Kayak 7 Seas by subscribing to this channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos coming out. We have a lot of content coming your way. Look for Kayak 7 Seas on Facebook and Instagram. If you've ever kayaked the Spoil Islands in Titusville, let me know what you've thought about them. After this long, nice paddle, it was time to get some good food. The black and bolt sand? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I will have the oyster po' boy. <laughs>